live at three. The game is still glitchy. Boy, I resisted the urge to say birds, but I pee because P rhymes with three. But the game is still glitchy, and we got to go over this one uh, because it affects a couple different teams. Uh, the problem is this, is that Craven is not healing with Vulture. Before we talk about the solution, it has to do with passives and the, how they load into the game. And if you just click characters on a loading screen, the middle one loads first, and then it goes to two, then it goes to three, then it goes to four. And the one on the far left is the last one to load. Why does this matter? Well, because Vulture has Drain, and if this character has two or more superior six allies, Sinister six allies gain 50% Drain. And I tested it at length, and I got all kinds of different results. Sometimes Doc Ock wouldn't have Drain. Sometimes Green Goblin wouldn't have Drain. This poster here on Reddit, Craven didn't get the healing. And the answer in short is it's buggy. And the best results I got is if you put Vulture on the far left. Now this is a known issue for Underworld as well. And this is the correct placement for Underworld with Taskmaster on the far left. I guess I don't know about the other four, but Taskmaster needs to be in the far left. And the reason for that is his passive right here on spawn. Fill speed bar for self and all mercenary villain underworld allies by 10% and 10% per mercenary or underworld world ally. And this has to do with when like uh, some of the other members of the underworld, they summon on spawn kingpin. And if Taskmaster loads last, you actually get 10% more speed bar. So if Taskmaster is not all the way on the left, um, I think they get 600 per meter as opposed to 700 per meter. So it's important to put Taskmaster on the left. Now, this is a, a different issue that, you know, these are on spawn mechanics, but I just want to also point out that back in the day, uh, there was a passive problem, but this is when it was in game. And if you're still using uh, power armor or whatever this team's called, uh, what is this team called? I can't even remember. But Hulkbuster needs to be all the way to the right. Anyways, it's a bug. It's a known issue. Let's go. Uh, in Bionic Avengers. Okay, that's what they're called. Bionic Avengers. Uh, they're just as bad as power armor at this point. But anyways, Bionic Avengers. Um, so there was a video on the official Marvel Strike Force YouTube channel that featured Hive Mind, and there was... A brief moment where you can see Red Goblin. Hopefully we'll get some information about Red Goblin sooner than later. We got a message from Archangel. A bug that caused Super Scroll to not cleanse himself with Nova stuns him in the Incursion 2 raid has been fixed. The fix is live in game now. And then it said also, when Super Scroll removes the stun from himself, he then applies it to the attacker. The attacker has to pass a resistance check. In this node in the raid, Nova will usually resist the stun, especially if he has charge. Yeah, when Nova has charge, typically things are not going to stick to him. Also, there has been some questions about when the vent compensation currency will go out. That was the currency for the first two hours when the level cap increased, where it was paying a two to one ratio instead of a six to one ratio. Uh, this was asked on Twitch and Archangel happened to be in chat and said, should be by tomorrow, so we will see. Um, also, there was a poll on the player voice movement. I just thought, and we're gonna go over two polls. I thought they were interesting polls. Um, check out the player voice movement's Discord. So how much time total do you spend on playing Marvel Strike Force each day? And it looks like the top choice was two to three hours a day, and then a good bunch of people were three to four hours, and then uh, like other people said, one to two hours, and then uh, five is four to six hours, and then some people said they do six hours a day. Now, there was more to this question uh, before you say, oh, I only spend X amount of hours on my screen time on my phone. They were talking about how much time do you spend thinking about Marvel Strike Force, communicating with your alliance. If you're an alliance leader, like recruiting people, 
if you're a war captain, planning war strategies, talking, thinking about Marvel Strike Force, because that number is not calculated by the developers. And I think they are trying to get a number of how much time do you spend playing Marvel Strike Force? I know for me, I I spend easily over six hours a day on Marvel Strike Force. <laughs> yeah, it was a little different circumstances for me, of course. Uh, we got some bonus events, and this was in Friday's blog post, but you know, um, the one thing I wanted to point out is that tomorrow there's going to be three times origin gear rewards for 24 hours. And so this is a, a part of the level cap increase, and there are going to be some bonus events. Now, in the data mine, they said they were going to have like an XP throttle, like a two time, three time, I think even a four time. There was no dates on that. That was 100% a data mine. The data mines also suggested that we were going to get dark promotion credits, red stars on Super Scroll, but I'm calling it now, and several people in my chat have said the same thing. They're going to put um, more red stars on Super Scroll in some sort of leaderboard event that essentially is an auction that only the top spenders will get. That will happen way before we get dark promotion credits on Super Scroll because even when they do that super expensive auction, they're going to have a waiting period where the people that spent all of that money to be the first in the exclusive 50 or the exclusive 100 or exclusive 500, whatever it is, uh, to get those max red stars on Super Scroll, it's going to be a period before it's in dark promotion credits. So I'm not expecting either of those two data mines anytime soon but this right here was from the actual blog post also don't forget to do the voting if you do the voting on the website uh you will get the 50 energy and the 50 power cores also i'm i'm voting for vindicator because reddit told me to vote for vindicator so i've been voting for vindicator i don't even know why but that's what i'm doing I think we got like, I think we're on day four, three or four, but we've got a couple days. This is a seven day event. So we've got a couple days left on that. We need incursion energy to be shown on the main screen. Yes. Also, if you forgot to spend your campaign, your incursion energy, do that now. Um, not really sure what this means, but I had three or four people send me this. Thank you. MSF is to Don O'Mac. And a couple days ago, like when I made a video about it, uh, to Dono Max old account or old account you can see because he's got the golden um, apocalypse as far as I know at the time he was the only person to have a up and there's an event coming out soon where other people can get it but up until now he's been the only player in game that has the golden uh, costume for apocalypse and his collection power has gone up to 78 million I don't know what that means it could be his cousins playing his account or he 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 uh gave his account to someone in his old alliance. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, this number did jump up by uh, 8 million. Uh, where is the allied orb? So at the time of making this video, there was no allied orb in game. Um, it is in your inventory and the developers need to turn the allied orb uh, as viewable so that you can open it. That's been reported and uh, hopefully that happens sooner or later. Idea resource grinder. I don't know about you, but I have too much low tier stuff that goes completely untouched. Over 2,000 silver red star credits and all my characters are already at five red star or higher, so they're not going anymore. More than 10K ability mats. I have to double check, but I think somewhere around 8K blue and mats. Yeah, these numbers are astronomical at some point. I mean, these are rather modest numbers actually compared to, I think I've... Like, as far as the, the T3 purple building materials, I mean, I think my number's in the hundreds of thousands. I don't know. But anyways, they do have something like this in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I it was like the, the Jawas and the gear grinder, and it was okay. Um, they might do that someday. But I know a lot of people say, hey, can we convert the silvers into golds or the, the purples into T4s or something? I don't know if they would do that, but Galaxy of Heroes had a system where at one point they allowed us to convert the, the 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 pieces that we had you know excess and no use for uh but that came pretty late in the, the cycle of the game any idea how much it would cost for whales to level 100 in the first day and it's somewhat unknown um i did a video about uh i don't remember who it was but they had over 2 billion gold and 
it hit like the maximum number or and they had like minus 2.1 million billion gold but there literally were people that had saved up and i think this post said uh, a guy had 200,000 energy saved and 1 billion gold saved so it's really hard to estimate how much it cost for someone to go to 100 um, because you know it is what it is and then someone made a, 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 a comment about they had to refresh those nodes over and over and over get to get the campaign energy i have no idea so unless we hear from somebody that is at 100 and they have a number but i i'm gonna guess that they had campaign energy saved for let's say months you know tens of thousands of campaign energy saved and hundreds if not a billion gold saved up this is also a poll from the players voice movement discord i kind of like this one also which with level 100 here what do you plan to leveling up first and i like this a lot uh number one was arena team and i agree with that 1000 percent and then number two was raid teams and i want to qualify that i will take up the raid teams that are struggling if i'm simming nodes with a raid team and they don't need to be upgraded i'm not going to be doing that then number six is um uh the third choice here for dark dimension six characters if you've already finished dark dimension six then you won't have to do that and the reason why that's a good choice too is that dark dimension six characters are mostly plug and play characters which is gonna well actually they put plug and play characters i read this wrong i can't read today so before dd6 with plug and play characters so to restate that arena teens raid teens plug and play characters then dark dimension six characters there yeah, there it is all right let's move on how do i get diamonds for apocalypse this is the same thing we were talking about earlier with the uh, the final red stars and super scroll uh the people that have diamonds on apocalypse uh, were the top auctioneers the people that participated in the leaderboard auctions, I don't want to call it an event. It was a spending auction so they could finish on the top of the leaderboards. And people had to spend a lot of money to get diamonds on Apocalypse. There might be somebody that got one diamond, but the people that have like three diamonds, very certain that they spent a chunk of change to get that. And then I just want to say this. Um, I love the game and I, I don't 100% agree with this, but I just want to read this real quick because I thought it was interesting. Currently the most bored I have been. First, let me say the game as a whole is much better than it has been for a while, but the confluence of things make today. So he's talking about today, very boring in the Marvel Stork Force world. No war or crucible, finished attacks for both yesterday. Crucible is by far my favorite game mode and I hate being done with it so quickly in the week. I agree. Lack of interesting events. I rarely find the events interesting. There's an event for war attacks, which is again done tomorrow evening, but then there's an event for leveling up, which I'm over a week away on even being able to do the first milestone, which leads to my third biggest issue. I can't build anyone up. Can't put gold or more importantly, training materials on anyone to 95 because I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs, waiting for 96, then 97 and so on. I have 40 million gold and a thousand training materials, which is not a lot. Uh, the gap between the two being the whole issue and I can't, shouldn't touch it. Scourge is along over, not doing Dark Dimension 6, nothing really to do. Kiln is done. There's no Scourge to do, no Pocket Dimension or anything else along those lines. G19 and DD7 are far away. Even a Blitz event. No! I feel like the developers are going to read this, and this is the only part they're going to read, and they're going to give us a Blitz event. Remake your post to delete that part, because I don't like the Blitz events. They're trash! <laughs> I agree. Um, we're supposed to be getting a new game mode, right? Battle World? We'll have to see what that looks like. That was in the road ahead last fall. Uh, and that's what I'm looking forward to. But yeah, Thursdays are kind of slow when it comes to Marvel Strike Force if you don't have Alliance War running. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.